with what authorities saying to calm people down. Plus, the night team is live outside where it was a mostly clear night tonight. Mark will be along in a couple minutes with when we could see some rain. For parents that weren't able to make it tonight, just tell us what you want their students to know and their families. We'll let them know directly. Thanks. All right. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. Well, the executive director of Blackstone Valley Prep was in no mood to talk following tonight's meeting with parents. That meeting was called to answer questions about the disparaging messages teachers had sent about their students. And the night team's Matt Reed is in Cumberland tonight. School might be out for summer, but it was a packed auditorium Monday night at Blackstone Valley Prep. Parents of high school students getting a chance to meet with school officials after the resignation of three teachers who got caught writing messages calling students idiots, saying they wish they could hit students, and using curse words to describe parents. We're all human and we have to just know that people make mistakes and we have to move on. The meeting was not open to the media, but the majority of parents we spoke with afterwards told us they felt reassured about the school's direction. We are pretty satisfied and it's a work in progress and we will build this trust again. Teachers are dedicated to our students. They will be 100% behind them to build trust in a loving relationship with these kids and the parents. What did they tell you tonight about what's being done? Uh, it, uh, it's a working process. Along with parents, we wanted to talk with Jeremy Chapetta, the executive director of the Blackstone Valley Prep. After exiting out a back door, we caught up with Chapetta as he walked to his car. Excuse me, sir, any chance you can just tell us what you told parents tonight? I have no comment. For parents that weren't able to make it tonight, can you just tell us what you want their students to know and their families? We'll let them know directly. Thanks. All right. And that was Matt Reed reporting. And right now, we know one person was killed in a head-on crash on the Rhode Island, Massachusetts line today. An SUV collided with a landscaping truck on Route 177. This was just before 9 this morning. The victim is identified as 39-year-old Todd DuPont of Westport. He was driving the SUV. A neighbor described what she saw and heard, and another neighbor told us off camera that the landscaping truck driver appeared to suffer minor injuries. A house party draws more than a thousand people in a small Massachusetts town and tonight Freetown police met with concerned neighbors to explain why they didn't force people off the property. That party was about a week and a half ago. Neighbors say they felt like prisoners in their own homes and the night team's Michelle San Miguel joins us live from Freetown where police told the community that some gang members may have ties to that party. Yeah, Freetown police say some promoters may have gang ties. Federal officials are now investigating. That's one of the many points the police chief made tonight as he spoke with dozens of concerned neighbors. A sea of partygoers ambush a neighborhood in Freetown. Now neighbors want to make sure this never happens again. There were hordes of people coming down. There was swearing. There was urinating it was vulgar language i mean it just it goes on and on police chief carlton abbott told neighbors the priority the night of the party was to make sure no one was injured and no property was damaged he says by the time police arrived at the party officers were significantly outnumbered adding that it would have taken about 100 officers to break up the crowd that night they had about 10. they were very uh reactive rather than proactive i think we had a very simple neighborhood to shut down at 9 o'clock when they patrolled the neighborhood, they could have shut down the road. It's a single access road. But Chief Abbott admits officers were overwhelmed that night and knew they were dealing with rowdy and intoxicated partygoers. Police say in hindsight, officers could have shut down the road sooner. Now the woman who threw the party, Ashley Lockhart, could face several charges. We're looking at uh, disturbing the peace, keeping a disorderly house, lack of an entertainment license, uh, providing false information to obtain a detail officer uh, and potential liquor law violations. It's not the first time police respond to a party at this home on Leonard Avenue. Last month, police were called out to a loud party, and in 2009, someone was stabbed during a party. If something doesn't happen, it's giving them free license to do it somewhere else, do it to us again. And Freetown police tell me they are stepping up security in that neighborhood. Reporting live in Freetown tonight, Michelle San Miguel, NBC 10 News 19. Michelle, thank you. New on the 19 police in Rentham say this man is wanted for shoplifting 
and assault tonight. He's accused of stealing at the Rentham Mall and then assaulting an employee of a store there. They think that the suspect may be from Rhode Island. And now let's take a live look outside of Providence where it was a nice night tonight. We saw Michelle San Miguel out there a little while ago, Mark. She looked very comfortable, didn't yeah, she? I would think so. Very yeah. comfortable. You know, just a touch more humidity, Patrice, but that's really splitting hairs because it's been so dry over this last week, week and a half or so. A slight increase in the humidity tonight. Feels like a typical summer night though, doesn't it? Uh, we look live here and I'll see what's happening with those temperatures. Right near 70 degrees downtown. We're at 71. 74 is in Boerville as well as Woonsocket. New Bedford and Fall River 69 degrees. Tonight that matches what we have in Narragansett. Newport westerly sitting at 68. The dew point numbers low 60s. So certainly by summer standards, this is not oppressive humidity, but it is just a little bit more uh, on the sticky side, certainly than what we've, as I mentioned, what we've seen here like the last week, week and a half or so. And this humidity will only climb. We'll be looking at higher levels of humidity over the next couple of days. Rain showers to our west. They were drying up as they approached. We expected that. We've got the cloud cover, certainly heavy rain for a New York City, White Plains, parts of Long Island tonight. Some of that rain may get a little bit uh, more vigorous. Those rain showers a little bit more widespread overnight tonight. So as we look here at our short range forecast, again, the cold front well to our west can be slow to move in. And as a result, that will give us a chance of some much needed rainfall here through Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. This is tonight into the morning. You'll see those showers to our west again, gaining a little bit more in their coverage as we work toward tomorrow morning, Patrice. So we'll be talking about more of those showers as we head into tomorrow, as well as the chance for thunderstorms late tomorrow night and Wednesday. Boy, do we need rain. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. See you then. All right, we sure do. We need that rain. All right. Uh, well, right now, Providence police say they have the shooter who took the life of a former high school basketball star, 21-year-old Jose Morales, was arraigned and held without bail today for the murder of 22-year-old Kip Stewart. Police say Stewart was not the intended target of the shooting. This was back on June 18th. Tonight, we asked police if the shooting was gang-related. That we're not going to get into. We're still keeping that part of the inv investigation closed to the public. Um, there's things there that can't get out until we complete our investigation. Morales has a bail hearing next month. Stewart's funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. And right now, a Rehoboth man is being held on $50,000 bail after a deadly crash. 40-year-old Jeffrey Fisk, Jr. is facing charges of vehicular homicide. Prosecutors say that he was drunk Saturday afternoon when he crossed the center line and killed a 62-year-old man. Anthony Kishfi was on his motorcycle at the time. The lawyer for the suspect says the evidence is weak that his client was drunk. And witnesses say Fisk had, a blood, had bloodshot eyes and he refused a blood alcohol test after the crash. The victim in this case had just retired. In consumer news tonight, Volkswagen could pay owners up to $10,000 for a cheating scandal. The Associated Press says this is part of a $15 billion settlement. The car giant is accused of cheating when doing emissions testing. Sources say $10 billion will be used to fix or buy back nearly a half million cars. The cars were sold with false information. The company is expected to file the plan in court tomorrow. In decision 2016 coverage now, a new poll from NBC News shows that Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump continue to be significantly unpopular with the voters. They have a lot in common in that way. Trump is the lead in this poll. 60% of the electorate don't like him. Only 29% give him a positive rating. Hillary Clinton, well, she's not far behind. 55% of voters don't like her. 33% give her a positive rating. Coming up, all new on the night team, scary moments on a flight when the wing goes up in flames. What gave the pilot early warning? Plus, a whale passes away on a beach in New England. Why researchers had a special connection to this whale. Plus, we begin Shark Week by introducing you to one of the men getting up close and personal with them. What's special about his new show after the break on the night team? Closed captioning on NBC10 is brought to you by Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses. Have a good night with Nairobi's same-day mattress eye delivery seven days a week. Sign up for NBC10 breaking news and weather alert emails on turn2ten.com. Have the local news leader delivered straight to your inbox. Turn to 10 for email alerts. Once in a lifetime, a musical comes along that transcends the art form and becomes part of our national heritage. Tonight, tonight, it all began tonight. Bill Haney's Theater by the 
NBC presents an all-new production of West Side Story, featuring one of the most stunningly beautiful scores ever created for the stage. West Side Story is on stage at Theater by the Sea, now through July 16th only. For tickets, log on to theaterbythesea.com. What you doing? Just checking my free credit score at Credit Karma. What the? You're welcome. I just helped you dodge a bullet. But I was just checking Shh. my... Don't you know that checking your credit score lowers it? Just be cool. Actually, checking your credit score with Credit Karma doesn't affect it at all. Are you sure? Positive. Huh, so I guess I could just check my credit score then. Oh. Check out Credit Karma today. Credit Karma. Give yourself some credit. Sorry about that. Our bacteria family's been on this cushion for generations. All right, kiddos, everybody off the backpack. We made it to the ottoman. I like to watch them clean, but they'll never get me on the mattress. Finally, there's a disinfectant mist designed for sofas, mattresses, and more. Introducing new Lysol Max Cover. Its innovative cap has a two times wider spray that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Max Cover is another great way to Lysol that. My Austin bedroom. Everything you see here, only $9.99. 100% solid pine. Hand-finished, modern, and rustic. So it'll look great anywhere. My Austin, an untouchable value. Dresser, mirror, chest, queen-size bed, even a nightstand. Only $9.99 complete every day. $9.99 on a Monday. $9.99 on hump day. $9.99 on Mother's Day. $9.99 on Mother-in-Law's Day. Now, is that a thing? It is a thing. I looked it up. Who comes up with all these national holidays? They're bumpy and jumpy. They're slick and slippery. They're striped and spotty and oh, so hoppy. They're large and medium and teeny tiny. They're frogs. And they're taking over Mystic Aquarium. Hop on over to our new interactive exhibits with over 30 species of frogs from around the world. See more frogs at Mystic Aquarium. 50,000 Feinstein Junior Scholars love the Mystic Aquarium. It's the scariest week of the year to go into the ocean. Shark Week kicked off last night on the Discovery Channel, and a local cameraman is already making a splash. NBC10's Emily Volz introduces us to the man behind the monster Mako. All right, apparently we don't have that. Let's go on. New on the night team, biologists are working to determine what killed a humpback whale that washed up on a beach in New Hampshire. It was identified as Snowplow, an 18-year-old female whale. Scientists have been watching her since she was a calf in 1998. A humpback whale normally lives up to 50 years. A necropsy is being done now to determine the cause of death. And new on the night team, a federal judge has ruled that clerks in Mississippi cannot refuse same-sex marriage licenses based on religious beliefs. There's a state law that allows religious objections when issuing marriage licenses. But this decision blocks the state from enforcing that. The judge said clerks must provide equal treatment for everyone under the law. And new on the night team, high water causes a dramatic rescue in Texas. This morning, a woman tried to drive across the moving water that came from the Red Arroyo River. Her vehicle stalled and rescuers came to her aid, walking her to safety. And then she was given a citation for disobeying the law and going around the barricades. More than five inches of rain fell in that area this morning. New video on the night team of a wing of a plane that burst into flames today. This was a Singapore Airlines jet. 222 passengers and 19 crew members were on board at the time. Two hours in, the pilot saw a warning message about the engine oil. He turned that jet around and headed back for an emergency landing. When the plane arrived in Singapore, the engine burst into flames. The fire was quickly put out and no one was hurt. Close call. Time now to check Mark's updated Storm Team 10 forecast. Absolute close call. That's, uh, that's crazy. All right, here's how things look for us tonight here, Patrice. You know, one of those nights where it looked threatening there for a while. Actually, even this afternoon, some of those clouds came in. A lot of folks sending in pictures on uh, Facebook, Twitter, saying, yeah, it looked like it could rain here at any moment. And, of course, that'd be wonderful. We could use some rain. But the ferry at sunset, that is an awesome picture from our friend Rock Guy. And uh, he's sending in that photo again uh, just about uh, a few minutes past sunset tonight at about 8.30 or so. Uh, this evening. Earlier in the day, clouds starting to win out a little bit here. Barbara's uh, picture here of Westerly, a little blue sky, but 
Clouds getting a little heavier there at times uh, over the course of the afternoon as well. Here are the headlines. Again, a little bit more humid. I mentioned this off the top of the show uh, tonight. You're probably going to notice most of the humidity tomorrow and on Wednesday. Wednesday in particular could feature some of the highest levels of humidity. Chance that we see some widely scattered rain showers in the next couple of hours into the morning. And then another round, this time tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Probably our best shot of seeing some widespread heavier rain and the chance for a few thunderstorms. And we need it. Here's how it looks in terms of the rainfall deficit. Less than an inch of rain this month, just eight tenths of an inch of rainfall. Most of that eight tenths fell on June 5th. So really when you factor in the last three weeks, we're running at about a quarter of an inch of rain over a three week span. At the driest time of year, the highest sun angle, you know, your lawns, the gardens, all reflective of this dry spell that we've been in. Not a drought yet, but we're two and a half inches below normal so far for this month of June. All right, things look tonight uh, pretty quiet as so we look live toward Providence. Mostly cloudy sky sitting at 70 degrees and with the cloud cover, with that south wind and with the increasing humidity, the temperature is not going to budge much more, maybe down another two degrees or so for the overnight low. So we should sit at about 65 to 68 to start the morning uh, for most spots. 70 Woonsocket, Barville right now, 69 Narragansett, same Fall River in New Bedford. You get the idea with that southerly wind. Now the cold front we're watching is not right here where the rain showers are. It's actually just back to our west just to the east of Cleveland and Buffalo tonight. So that front is very slowly going to progress through southern New England, probably not coming through here until sometime, uh, honestly, early Thursday morning is the way it looks right now. So until it gets through here, we'll have an increased chance of rain. Good thing. We'll also have a little bit of an increase in the humidity as well. So here we are again now into the morning hours, watching that front slowly coming in. You see those showers uh, being formed by some of this energy which is passing through here overnight into tomorrow morning. So some rain showers early, then generally just mostly cloudy throughout a good part of Tuesday afternoon it looks like before more rain forms along this front overnight into Wednesday morning. This is about midnight tomorrow heading into early Wednesday. The front Wednesday morning is on top of us and then it's slowly going to press out toward Cape Cod uh, in the afternoon. Somewhat drier air will come in. The humidity levels may not drop off until sometime Thursday night or Friday. Closer look again at those forecast conditions with the temperatures. This is in the morning, 68 to 70 degrees to start things off. Scattered rain showers early, then just generally cloudy in the afternoon. Maybe some breaks of sunshine at times. Inland highs around 78, 77 degrees or so. Beaches tomorrow will be near 70, kind of unsettled with some clouds. Now, Wednesday morning we've got the rain. Showers, isolated thunderstorms early on. This is really, again, our best chance for seeing some of that widespread needed rainfall. This is late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then scattered, unsettled showers and uh, maybe some breaks in the cloud cover at times as well into uh, Wednesday afternoon. But we're still looking at about 75 to 77 inland, a little cooler near the water with that wind out of the south. So again, beaches mostly cloudy, a shower near 70, not the best beach day. We've had plenty of them. and We've got a good looking stretch of beach weather coming up toward the end of the week as well. High tide. 3.40 in the afternoon at most beaches and a low tide in the morning, close to 9 a.m. Narragansett Bay, the wind's south at 6 to 14 knots. Our uh, sunrise time now is 5.14, still an 8.24 sunset, but we'll start to see that number ticking down again in the next week to 10 days or so. It's the uh, earlier sunrises uh, that are starting to wane as well. The sunrise getting a little bit later each of these uh, next several mornings. 78 tomorrow afternoon inland, again closer to 80 on Wednesday, still lots of clouds the next couple of days. A little more sunshine for us here Thursday, Patrice, Friday, Saturday, and that 4th of July weekend still looking good right now. Again, I mentioned this at 7 o'clock. The one thing we're going to watch is Saturday's forecast. There'll be a cold front coming through. That could give us the chance for a shower or a thunderstorm at some point Saturday. A little far in the distance to time that out right now. But after we get by Wednesday night, the chance for rain goes down and the sunshine comes right back in. It's looking pretty good. Back to you. All right, so far, so good. Thank you, Mark. And turn to 10 for updated Storm Team 10 forecasts anytime. Download the NBC 10 News app right now for your Apple and Android devices. Tomorrow on Sunrise, doctor's office visits are down, but walk-in clinic visits are soaring. Patients explain why they're opting for the less personal care, and we're learning how this could affect your health care costs in the not-so-distant future. So join Frank Coletta and Allison Bologna for NBC10 News Sunrise, beginning at 4.30. Ahead, only at 11, we're seeing more homegrown terrorists in the U.S. Ahead, we look at how these young people go down the wrong path. Storm Team 10 reports are brought to you by Tarbox Toyota Hyundai, where you're in the driver's seat. Follow NBC 10 on Twitter for breaking news, developments straight from the reporters in the field, and Storm Team 10 weather alerts. Turn to 10 on Twitter. The Volkswagen Jetta is now more fun to drive than ever. Allow us to illustrate. Little help here? It comes standard with a lean, mean, turbocharged engine. 
with even more horsepower to really get your heart racing. Yeah! And this Jetta is amazingly fuel efficient, so the fun doesn't have to stop. Hey, can you give me a little, uh... Thanks, bud. Hurry in and lease this 2016 Jetta S for just $129 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. At Subway, you'll love our new Italian hero, piled high with three authentic Italian deli meats. Spicy capicola, mortadella, and Genoa salami, topped with provolone cheese and sprinkled with oregano. Try our new Italian hero today. Subway, fresh is what we do. What makes for a better 4th of July sales event? That's easy, a free 4th of July sales event. With incredible deals like the 31 MPG Highway Tucson for only $155 a month and the 27 MPG Highway Santa Fe Sport for just $169 a month, along with America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles, five years longer than Toyota and Honda. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The Hyundai pre-4th of July sales event is the reason to buy now. Hurry in and get the Tucson for just $155 a month. Don't wait, because this event ends June 30th. We never had a mattress, so... Worth talking about? It's true. We never had a mattress worth talking about until now. Another reason to stay in bed longer. Sounds good to me. Raymore and Flanagan has the guaranteed lowest prices on the largest selection of mattresses in the Northeast. Right now, you can save up to $400 on Beautyrest Black mattress sets. Lifestyle bases on sale for $5.99. Come on, you owe it to yourself. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Raymore and Flanagan. Hey, yeah, I like this right here. The Ford Freedom sales event is on, and Zero for 72 is back on 2016 Ford Focus, Fusion, and Escape. Plus, specially tagged vehicles get an extra 1,000 smart bonus. That means freedom from interest and freedom to choose with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Get Zero for 72 plus a 1,000 smart bonus cash on specially tagged Ford vehicles, or lease Fusion for $139 a month or Escape for $169. Well, we apologize. As you can see, we've been having some technical issues, so we're going to have to take a break now, regroup, and we'll be right back. I'm Mike Greco. The factory makes the cars. Greco makes the difference. And now Greco wants to make America trade again with $5,000 trade assistance cash. That's $5,000 more for your trade at every Greco dealership. Every make and model is on sale. Plus, we're introducing the Greco difference. A three-day money-back guarantee. No charge loaner cars. Free car washes and more. Hurry in for five grand trade assistance cash and experience the Greco difference. We'll save you thousands. We guarantee it. For all those pokers, prodders, shuckers, and sniffers, I'll stop and shop produce is triple checked. Farm, crate, and store. We're focusing on fresh, so you don't have to guess. My stop and shop. Now, look for your produce manager's fresh picks of the week in store. And this week, get sirloin tip steak just $4.99 per pound. So what's the next one up? So this is a Buick. Wow, that doesn't look like a Buick. So your uh, dad let you borrow the uh... Buick, Mr. Simmons. And it's got a five-star overall safety rating. I don't think that's what he's worried about. I bet you haven't seen anything like it. It's a Buick. And what you'd call an early adopter. Now current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this 2016 Verano for around $169 per month. See your Southern New England Buick dealer. No interest? I'm interested. Then celebrate the freedom of 0% APR for 60 months during Raymore and Flanagan's Independence Day sale. Just $8.76 gets you this sofa and love seat or two-piece sectional. Take your pick. Save 25% on this classic five-piece dining set. Everything is on sale with delivery in three days or less. The celebration's underway. The Independence Day sale only at Raymore and Flanagan. What famous American has covered more territory than any other? Hint, it's not a person. Celebrate 75 years of endless adventure today at the Jeep Drive and Discover event. One drive and you'll discover why Jeep is the most awarded, best-selling SUV brand. Right now, current lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2016 Jeep Cherokee 4x4 for $179 a month. Hi, this is Joe Kayana. Thanks for turning to 10, NBC 10. <clears throat> 
Well, the Red Sox are in Florida tonight, Frank. Yes, they are uh, tonight playing uh, Tampa Bay. The Rays, the Sox coming into tonight in desperate need of a win, dropping five of their last seven. The good news for the Sox, Tampa Bay coming into this one. Losers of 11 in a row look like a perfect night for Boston to get back on track, or so we thought. We're going to spare you the highlights, mainly because we have technical difficulties. But I can tell you that Eduardo Rodriguez got the start for Boston. He gave up five runs in the first, nine runs altogether, and surprising... And not really. He was optioned to Pawtucket after the game as the Red Sox lose to Tampa Bay. 13 to 7 was the final. New York Yankees playing in New York. Rain there now. They're in the ninth inning in a rain delay. And the Yankees are leading the Texas Rangers by a score of 6 to 5. As for the Pawtucket Red Sox, they are in Rochester tonight. And the Paw Sox beating up on Rochester. The final score in that one was 6 to 2. Well, the other big story today, NBC 10 learning that Elizabeth Beisel went to the hospital twice last week with a stomach virus. The only food she was able to keep down were protein shakes. As a result, Beisel lost nine pounds in the past week. Her coaches were five minutes away from pulling her from Sunday's uh, 400 IM race that she qualified for the, her third Olympic team. So Beisel's dad told me today that considering what she went through over the past week, last night's second place finish that qualified her for her third Olympic team may represent the greatest race of her career. So we'll be keeping an eye on her as she gets ready to qualify for another race later this week. She'll be competing in one of her best events, the 200 backstroke. All right, golf today, the 18th annual CVS Health Charity Golf Classic teed off at a very windy Rhode Island Country Club this morning with some of the game's best golfers in town. Co-host Billy Andrade uh, coming off a fourth place finish at yesterday's Champions Tour event. And Billy and his partner Bill Haas look great on the course today. They sit atop the leader board at nine under par. They are tied for the lead with LPGA star Lexi Thompson and PGA newcomer Bryson DeChambeau. The final round is tomorrow in Barrington. As you look at the round one scores, the leaderboard, seven teams within three strokes of the lead heading into tomorrow's final round at the Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. And the 111th edition of the Rhode Island Appen Am <laughs> Rhode Island Amateur open for business at Point Judith Country Club in uh, uh, down south uh, county. This uh, Cameron Andrade, Billy Andrade's son, is in second place after shooting two over par for the day. The leader after day number one is Newport's John Hayes. He finished with a round of even par 71. We had no video tonight. No. Long time since that happened. Wow. I know. And I came out here going, job. I'm ready for the challenge. But you know what? We can tell everybody that Cameron Andrade looks just like his dad, he right? He did, yes. He really and, does. And I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him as the, as the week goes on. So maybe yeah. what we'll do is one of those little split screens. We'll mm -hmm. show yeah. his dad and we'll show him. And I actually, I met Billy Andrade. Uh, when he was younger than Cameron, yeah. so it's it's been a while. But well, it must be in the genes. Yeah, yeah to great to see golfers. him coming up through the ranks. And Elizabeth Beisel, she is just the most Gutsy. wonderful person, isn't she? And you know the, the incredible thing is that she made no excuses Not after all. last night's race. Not in the network interview or the interview that we got. Uh, she didn't mention at all that she had been sick last week. And, and what a gutsy performance to yeah. go out there after you know you had the stomach virus, lost nine pounds last week. Dad said that she's in the great thing is that she's in the best shape of her career, and that's probably what helped put her over the top. Yeah, she said she was not happy with her time, though. She no. didn't say that, no. but she didn't make any excuses about it. What a competitor, though. And yeah. now uh, I think the butterfly is coming up next, and that's her. That is her. The backstroke. The backstroke. It, yeah, that's coming up. The uh, I think it's Friday is the uh, preliminaries and the semifinals, and then the final will be on Saturday. But she's already qualified yeah. for the Olympics uh, in the 400 IM. Uh, the event that she won a silver medal in at the uh, last Olympics in London. So she is going to be going to Rio. And she did say, though, I heard her say in the interview, it, this could be my last Olympics. Yeah, we'll see. You know, she's, I hope not. Uh, it's 23 years old. I mean, mm. can you imagine no. that in swimming circles, mm -hmm. that's a little bit older. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, somebody so. to cheer on, though. I like that. Absolutely. Uh -huh. All right, Mark, it's one more Getting excited for Rio, the yeah. Olympics, right? It Watching is. a lot of the qualifying on NBC. Right. My daughters are really into the gymnastics, by the way. Just right, we're watching that this yeah. weekend, awesome. too. That has been awesome. It has been fantastic. All right, so let's take a quick peek here at the forecast and see. Uh, you know, the week ahead, we need the rain, and this is great. Now, I know it's a big vacation week leading up to the 4th of July weekend, so maybe you're not so excited about the prospect here of showers on Tuesday and Wednesday, but, boy, we need it. Uh, looks like the heaviest rain potential would be this time tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Showers and thunderstorms at that point. A little on the humid side these next couple of days. We've mm -hmm. had a break from that here. Uh, last week and a half or so, and then dries out humidity and rain-wise as we head toward the weekend. All right, very That's good. good. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join the entire Sunrise crew first thing in the morning, and we'll see you back here tomorrow night at 5 on NBC10.
return to the NBC 10 I team. Parker Gavigan, relentless, getting answers, holding the powerful accountable. I'm fighting to expose the dirty secrets. Katie Davis, breaking through red tape, revealing what's really going on. I'm pushing to uncover the hidden truth. And now, consumer advocate Emily Voles, looking out for your money, one step ahead of the scammers. I'm working to keep crooks out of your wallet. The team who's got your back when you need the truth. Turn to Ted, the NBC 10 I team. Through the years, NBC 10 is the one you turn to. When news happens, you rely on NBC 10 to keep you informed. The ones you call family. At NBC 10, we know life is moving fast. And we're following developing news at this hour. New at 5 tonight, a missing boy. New technologies, new ways you get your news. We continue to strive to be the best for you. Car crashed into Atlanta. Record turnout. The in this one day. you turn to. That's why we are where you are. On air, online, on mobile app. When breaking news happens, turn to 10. NBC 10. Turn to the NBC 10 I team. Parker Gavigan, relentless, getting answers. Should it have been reported to social service? Absolutely. Katie Davis, breaking through red tape, revealing what's really going on. Parents would like to see those school sprinklers. And that's why this is such a big priority. And now, consumer advocate Emily Voles, looking out for your money. Thank you. So happy. Appreciate the help that we got from Channel 10. The team who's got your back. Channel 10 is outstanding. When you need the truth, turn to 10, the NBC 10 I team. My teacher cares. She wants me to be the best I can be. He teaches in ways I can understand. I'm Patrice Wood. Teachers play an important role, and we want them to know they're appreciated. NBC 10, the Department of Education, and Hasbro are teaming up to honor outstanding teachers with the NBC 10 Golden Apple Award. Nominate your teacher today. Nominate at turn2ten.com. Each winner will receive $250 to assist in classroom needs. NBC 10's Golden Apple Award is proudly sponsored by Hasbro. This summer, forget thrills that don't last. Instead, go to the Toyota Summer Sales Event for a $2.99 a month lease on an all-wheel drive Sienna with two years no-cost maintenance included. The Summer Sales Event ends July 5th. Toyota, let's go places. What's the best thing about being outside? Maybe it's the smell of fresh-cut grass, or the sound of the birds, or the peacefulness of a sunset. Maybe the smell of a steak sizzling on the grill or sharing it all with friends and family. Right now, spend $9.99 or more on outdoor furniture and get a free $200 gift coupon from our friends at Walpole Outdoors. You can get a good car this summer, or you can drive the best. That's Honda, the best value brand. Drive the 2016 CRV. Now just $199 a month. The best selling SUV in America. Or the redesigned Accord for just $189 a month. A car and driver 10 best 30 times. No one else can say that. And don't just save now. Save for years with the low cost of ownership. So why settle for less than a Honda? Don't just get a good car this summer. Get the best at your local Honda dealer. My name is Frankie B, and I'm a professional illustrator. I used to weigh over 400 pounds and had lots of health problems. My doctor suggested I go to a seminar at Kent Hospital to find out about weight loss surgery. And this is my girlfriend, Jess. I've also struggled with weight my whole life, so I went too. Dr. Giovanni nailed it when she said our overeating was an addiction. We could exercise all we wanted, but we were eating too many calories. Now we've both lost weight. We're still exercising, but eating much better. My blood pressure is lower, and I'm looking.